Well, it is National Cat Health Month, and we're checking in with a local vet who specializes in all things feline. And she says staying one step ahead of your cat is your best bet to keep them healthy. Uh, here right now with Jen Gillum, a veterinarian here in Grand Rapids, and we are talking about cat health because this is the month that we're focusing on how we can make sure that our cats stay healthy and live long lives. Very long, 21 so, years. That's right. So uh, tell us a little bit about some of the things that we need to keep in mind when caring for our cats. Indoor cats are extremely common right now. Everyone <laughs> seems to have cats. Yeah. And the common misconception for years and years is an indoor cat doesn't need preventative health care doesn't need an annual exam and that's completely fiction we need to get these kitties in before they become ill because cats are notorious for masking their symptoms and so if we can get them in establish baselines look in their mouth listen to their heart run lab work give them that full spectrum physical we can avoid a lot of problems in the future mm -hmm. a lot of pet owners that have cats and don't necessarily bring their cats in until there's a problem mm -hmm. and like you said they what is their tendency if they are having a problem they may not tell you exactly a dog's going to be kind of wiggling around in your face broke my nail take me to the vet a cat may be more aloof may go off and hide may cut back on how much they're eating or drinking or using the box very subtle changes but any change in a cat's overall demeanor and patterns because they're creatures of habit it, that lasts more than 24 to 48 hours we should know about it because they mask their symptoms so well a lot of the times they get here and they're really sick and no one had any idea right what is one of the most common problems for a cat? <sighs> I what there you know I would say dental disease is a, a huge problem and we see a lot and we do a lot of um, dental work here at the clinic and so we like to talk to people about things you can do to prevent that um, there are additives that you can add to their food there is toothpaste, there is um, home dental exams, there are dental treats and shoes and food. So it's just kind of bringing awareness to simple things people can do at home to slow the progression of naturally occurring processes that happen as they age. I know that cats will sort of express themselves in different ways, certainly very different than a dog, Extremely. and urinary issues can mm -hmm. be one of those things. Yes, and we get a lot of calls going, my cat is urinating outside of the box. Immediately, owners think, could this be behavioral? But I would say probably 80% of the time, there's a medical reason for that. They're creatures of habit, they stress very easily, and one of the organ systems that shows those symptoms is the urinary tract. As a whole then, what is your general advice to a cat owner to make sure that they're on top of any problems that they may be having that they don't even yeah, know about. Exactly. They might not know anything exists. Annual exams. I think the focus should be on exams, not so much vaccines. We cater that to each client depending on their lifestyle, but get them in once a year. Let us give a complete physical, point some things out that maybe we can do together simply at home to hopefully prolong their lives and keep them in the best best shape possible okay thank you so much Jen, for welcome. joining us we appreciate thank it thank you